of the past years, the tech industry has been booming, and one of the stocks that has been riding this wave of change is Texas Instruments ticker TXN, which is currently trading at $170.59, and over the past 5 years, they are up by nearly 50%. Now Texas Instruments is nearly a 10% upside, with analysts predicting a price of $187.51 per share by the end of 2023, with the highest price target of $230 and the lowest price target of $145, with 8 buy ratings, 8 hold ratings and 2 sell ratings. Now to see whether Texas Instruments is really a buy at its current trading price, we will jump over to our fully automatic stock valuation spreadsheets, where we will have a look at the 9 pillar analysis and calculate the intrinsic value of Texas Instruments using the Grams formula revised, discount cash flow model, multiples valuation model and the dividend discount model, where all these models will lead to our ultimate valuation at the end of the video. And of course, if you'd like to download these spreadsheets, you can do so at my Patreon at the link in the description. Now when we jump back to the stock screen and plug in the ticker TXN, all the metrics will show up automatically. And right away we can see that the dividend yield for Texas Instruments is sitting at 2.91% with a dividend payout of $4.96 and a trailing payout ratio of slightly above 50%. Now even though their dividend yield is sitting quite low, if we have a look at their dividend history, we can see that Texas Instruments have been increasing their dividends steadily over the past 10 years, which is a great sign to any valued dividend investor. Now we can also see that the institutional ownership of Texas Instruments is sitting at 87.56% and the beta is sitting slightly above one, meaning that Texas Instruments has a very similar volatility to the one of the overall market. Now when we jump to the 9 pillar analysis, there are 9 metrics we want to pay attention to when purchasing a company. The first one being the 5 year PE ratio sitting below 22.5, as we can see that is indeed the case for Texas Instruments. We also want the 5 year profit margin to be above 10%, Texas Instruments has its profit margin at 65.83%. Now we also want there to be net income, revenue and free cash flow growth over the past 5 years or so, and as we can see Texas Instruments has been increasing their net income, their revenue and their free cash flow fairly well over the past few years. Now we also want there to be a decrease in shares outstanding and we want the long term liabilities of the 5 year free cash flow negative dividends to be below 3. Texas Instruments is currently sitting at 0.78, which means that they can pay off most of their long-term liabilities in about 4 years, using their historical free cash flow, while of course paying out their current dividend. Now we can move to the first valuation model, which is the Grams formula revised. Here we plug in the earnings per share of Texas Instruments, the base PE currently sitting at 7, the 5 year growth estimate to be at 5.77% per year, the growth rate multiplier, the average yield on AA corporation bonds and the current yield on AA corporation bonds to get an intrinsic value of only $130.90, which is 30% lower than the current trading price of Texas Instruments. Now Texas Instruments has a decent average earnings per share, and therefore one of the reasons for the low intrinsic value might be the current yield on AA corporation bonds, which is sitting quite higher than the short term average, which is about 3.5. So if we plug that in, if we plug in 3.5, we can see that the intrinsic value comes out to be $173.91, 2% higher than the current trading price of Texas Instruments. But now we can move to our second valuation model, the discounted cash flow model. He replugged the free cash flow over the past 10 years and calculated the average growth rate to be sitting at 8.63%. Now to the near future, I predict a year over year growth rate of 8%. I take the calculated growth rate and calculate the future free cash flow over the next few years, including the terminal value. After that, I calculate the discount rate using the WAC and the Nampler analysis we have done prior and calculate the present value of that future free cash flow. I then sum up all that present value of the future free cash flow, add any cash and cash equivalents, subtract total debt and get an equity value of $139 billion, which I divide by the shares outstanding and get an intrinsic value of $153.78, about $20 lower than the current trading price of Texas Instruments. Now the third valuation model we will have a look at is the multiples valuation model. Here I will compare Texas Instruments 
to QCOM and ADI, companies which operate in the same sector and have very similar structures to Texas Instruments. I took these companies' current stock prices and divided by their current earnings per share to get their price to earnings per share ratios or the PE ratio. I then averaged out these PE ratios and got an average PE ratio of 19.31. I then multiplied this PE ratio by the earnings per share of Texas Instruments and arrived at an intrinsic value of $172.07, about $2 higher than the current trading price of the stock, meaning that Texas Instruments is currently fairly priced compared to companies which operate in the same sector. Now we can move to our final valuation model, which is the dividend discount model. Here we take the dividend payout over the past 5 years and calculate the average growth rate to be at 13.59%. Now into the future, I project a year-over-year -year dividend growth of 6%. I then use this projected growth rate to calculate the next year's dividend, which I divide by the WAC negative the projected growth rate and arrive at an intrinsic value of $205.17, about $35 higher than the current trading price of Texas Instruments. Now we can move to our ultimate valuation where we average out the Grams Formula Revised Multiples Valuation, Discount Cash Flow Valuation and the Dividend Discount Valuation to arrive at an ultimate intrinsic value of $176.23, $6 higher than the current trading price of the company. Now as a value investor, I always plug in a margin of safety of at least 10%. So if we plug that in, we can see that we get an acceptable buy price at $158.61. And if we jump back to the price graph of Texas Instruments, we can see that over the past year, the company has indeed been trading around our calculated value. Personally, I believe that Texas Instruments is a great company with great growth potential. And with the tech industry booming, I trust that Texas Instruments will grow your investments over the long term. Now if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, consider subscribing and let me know down in the comments which company you would like me to evaluate next.